friends. Welcome to Storytime at the Lexington County Public Library. I'm Miss Amanda and I'm super excited to go on a book adventure with y'all. Today we have a cast of delicious characters who are going to teach us a little bit about friendship. Our book is Everyone Loves Cupcake, written by Kelly DiPuccio and illustrated by Eric White. And we're reading it today with permission from the Ellen Publishers. What do you guys think of the title? Do you love cupcakes? I love cupcakes. I love the frosting on cupcakes. Let's find out why the characters in this book love cupcakes. Everyone loves cupcake. Coffee love cupcake. A latte. Cake love cupcake. I do. Brownie love cupcake. I'm nuts about her. Angel food cake love cupcake too, but she didn't count because angel food cake loved everyone. Cupcake worked hard at getting her friends to like her. Thank you. Grazie. Merci. Everywhere she went, Cupcake tried her best to impress. Her smile was brilliant. Her way was impeccable. She even wore a tiara. Everyone loves a tiara. Only the tarts were jealous. Look at her. Not a single sprinkle out of place. Cupcake worried a lot about what everyone thought, so she worked extra hard and being extra perfect. She fussed. She fixed. She fussed and fixed some more. And she never stopped talking about how perfect things were. After I rescued these sweet little guys from a burning oven, I alphabetized the spice rack. Cinnamon Bun rolled his eyes. Turnover walked away and Muffin blew his top. We get it! Everything is so perfect! Eventually, no one wanted to spend time with Cupcake. Can, I'm an early riser. I would love to, but I have to take a bath. Even worse, they pretended she wasn't there. Nobody likes me. Cupcake sniffed. She was feeling crummy and all alone. Finally, Cookie offered her some advice. Be true. Be you. Cupcake smiled. You're really smart. Thanks, Cookie blushed. Everyone loves a smart cookie. Clink, clink, clink. May I have your attention? I have something to tell you. She paused, took a deep breath, and then blurted out, This isn't the real color of my frosting and I hate birthday parties! Everyone gasped. The room went quiet. And then everybody cheered. Cupcake's friends took turns sharing their true feelings. I don't really like New York, said Cheesecake. Sometimes I feel empty inside, said Donut. Indeed, nobody's perfect. Not even angel food cake. Yep, everyone loves cupcake, especially cookie. The end. All right, now we're gonna play a game with these food items. But first, we're gonna learn a little bit of American Sign Language. American Sign Language is used by our friends who are deaf to communicate. And it is its own completely different language. So we're just gonna learn a few words today. Um, the first one is hamburger. All right, to make the sign for hamburger, we're gonna take our hands and then press them together like this. Hamburger. Can you do it with me? 
pink burger. Very good. Uh, next, I have something that I think goes really well on a hamburger, and that is cheese. All right, to make the sign for cheese, you're gonna put your hands together, and then your favorite hand is gonna move back and forth a little bit, like this. Kind of like your green cheese. Very good. Now, we need a vegetable. So I chose one of my favorite vegetables, and it also goes really good with cheese. And it's green. Can you guys guess what it is? It's broccoli. All right, there we go. Right All right, so to make the sign for broccoli, you're gonna change your favorite hand. This is the hand you write or draw with or eat with or throw a ball. So you're gonna put all your fingers together like this and then fold your thumb down. So this is the letter B in American Sign Language. It's B for broccoli. And then you're gonna take your other hand like this and your B is just gonna pop up. Like it's growing out of the ground. Broccoli. Can you do it with me? Broccoli. Good job. Let's see, now that we have our vegetable, we need a fruit. And you guys know what this is? Apple, that's right. We'll put that. All right, so take your favorite hand again and give me a number one. And then I want you to bend that finger down like this. And you're gonna put it to your cheek and then twist. Like Apple, can you do it with me? Now, finally, we have dessert. And we have a cookie. All right, so you're gonna lie one hand flat and then take your favorite hand and pretend like you're cutting out cookie shapes with a cookie cutter, like this. Cookie. Can you do it with me? Cookie. Good job. All right, the way we play this game is you guys are gonna close your eyes and then I'm going to pretend to eat one of our foods here and when you guys open your eyes you have to guess which one is gone and you can say it out loud and make the sign for it okay but before we get started let's review all of our signs so do you remember what hamburger is good job hamburger and what about Cheese. Good job. And broccoli. And apple. And this one. Cookie. Good job. All right, everyone, close your eyes. No peeking. All right, open your eyes. What did I pretend to eat? Hamburger, you guys are right. What's right here? Good job. All right, everyone close your eyes. And open your eyes. What's missing? I see some of my friends signing for broccoli. Good job. What's the broccoli? Okay, once again, close your eyes. And open them. What did I eat? It was the apple. Good job. Uh oh, our cookie fell down. We'll put it back. Okay, close your eyes and open them. <laughs> yes, I ate the cookie. Good job. It was right there. All right, this is the last time. Everybody close your eyes. Okay, open your eyes. Hmm, I wonder what I could have eaten this time. Mm hmm the cheese. Good job. What? I hope you all had fun in story time today. Until next time, bye.